In this video, I'll be showing you how to use formulas and calculations in your snippets. Formulas in TextBlaze are very similar to the ones in Excel and Google Sheets. You can use them to create snippets such as this recipe, where the quantities for the ingredients change according to how many loaves I want to bake. Or the simple rubric for calculating a student's grade based on the details I enter in my text fields. Let's build a basic invoice together so you can see how this works. First, I need text fields for the price and quantity. I want my formula to use the values I enter in these text fields. To do this, I need to give them labels, also known as form variables. Let's add a default value too. The formula command can be found in the sidebar. When I click on it, I get a pop-up where I can construct my formula. Below the formula field, TextBlaze gives me the list of form variables that exist in my snippet. These correspond to the names of my text fields. Let's multiply the price by the quantity to get the total price of the order and give it a quick trial run. Looks like it's working as intended, but I want the total price to be formatted as a monetary value. So let's return to our command editor and specify the output format for our formula result. That looks better. Let's add one last thing to our invoice, a dynamic logic command that will check whether the order total qualifies for free shipping. For this, I'm using the if else command. In the condition field, I'm going to test whether the result of multiplying price by quantity is less than 50. If the answer is yes, I want this text to show up. Otherwise, I want this other text. Let's test it out with a few different values. On a final note, formulas can also include commands and functions. Here are a few examples using mathematical functions and text functions. To learn more about how to use formulas and calculations in your snippets, check out our help site and make sure you join our community.